Uh, my name is Brandon Carlton. I go by Ugly Brandon, and I'm from originally Baltimore, but I claim Atlanta. Um, I do a lot of things, I would say. So I started off modeling. I still would say I model at times here and there, but now that I've been focusing on the art, that's pretty much taken over. But then I have like a brand on the side. I call it my merch, but it's something like a brand, I would say. So I do a jack of all trades. Uh, I got into modeling. Honestly, from here, I, uh, when I first moved to Chicago, I had got my grills, and I apparently everybody in Chicago didn't have grills. So you know, I was that kid walk around with gold teeth. You know, what I mean, I had a couple different sets of grills, and I did this fashion show for uh, Fat Tiger Workshop. But it was really a dope boy magic, uh, aka Don't Be Mad Now, Joe's Joe Fresh Goods line, and um, did that fashion show. After that. They said I did pretty good, and um, I linked up with Trash, who also is my god brother. We found that out this year. We've been knowing each other since like I was a baby. It's crazy. I got into art at the age of, what, like 24? So I haven't been painting that long. Yeah, it was always around my life as far as just, you know, going to art class at, in high school. Nothing further than that, so no schooling or nothing. Now, what inspired me, because I was always doodling on receipts when I was working at streetwear stores, like uh, Fat Tiger Workshop. And then from there, I just, when I broke my arm, I was just kind of panicking on the modeling side, because I was like, I can't model with a, a cast. So I was like, what, what would I want to do forever? And then I just wanted to see my doodles come to life. And then progressively, you know, my, uh, inspirations changed. My inspirations at first were, was uh, lots of Simpsons, because Simpsons seemed to hit on every topic and they were pretty like clean cut as far as the cartoon and the colors popped. So that was an easy training for me as far as like, just learning how to mix colors, you know, stay inside the line and stuff like that. Just, and then after that it developed into just paying attention, feeling like a messenger of the people, you know, just I want to show real life, like at least my life, at least. I feel like it relates to a lot of other people. Being black, I mean, especially right now, I'm learning right now, cause I was, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't want to be just another black artist. I'm not gonna lie, you know what I mean? I wanted to, to reach all aspects, all you know, every diversity of people or whatever. Um, but at the same time, it's almost like you don't see enough black art. So I'm like, I guess it does put you in that some sort of box, you know? And I just started owning it because, you know, a lot of people that I hang out with are black. <laughs> so, you know, I could just, it's just easy, I don't know. Still, I try to incorporate real life and I think I'm fashionable at times. So I try to, you know, just from the picture angles, like, so your photography may inspire me to, you know, I might steal your photo and be like, man, I'm gonna paint that. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Growing up like in the hood for me was like, it influenced some of the art because it's like, all I saw was a lot of black. I grew up with just black women. You know what I mean? So if I showed you more of the paintings, you would see they pretty much all black women. To be a black artist, it means to me to be like an example, you know, for the younger and older. Uh, it feels like I have like some sort of responsibility now to to show our truth. That's that's what I'm learning to this day. You know, is now to be like, damn, you gotta really. It's like sh paintings can be cool, like you know, just to paint a pretty woman's face. But or would you rather see like a real like kid riding down your hood on a bike? You know what I mean? Like something that really hits home that you relate to. Like so, this piece. I caught a lot of flack for it. And I got, you know, some good compliments about it, but at the same time, this was probably like my first piece that 
I don't know, was on topic with what's going on with the world, kinda. And it was pretty, uh, I think it's deep. I think uh, it's the exact thing that happened. I don't think it was anything wrong with it being shown. It's uh, pretty much, to me, I look at art now as like, I want this shit to be in textbooks, you know, in a museum and him having angel wings or something like that or a halo over his head. It's like, we're not saying he's not an angel or nothing, but this is what happened. Like the whole world saw that. So when you see this piece, it's not necessarily, oh, that's beautiful. It's like you had an emotion of that anger and that disgust when you saw that video. That's my style and it's as real as, that's probably the realest painting I done painted. You know, yeah, I think it's not traditional. And one back to like, I think I don't want to speak for all black people, but I think we're pretty good on holding our own on what we want to stand for. And like I said, if you're doing photography, you like not that you won't shoot anything outside of black people, guns and clothing. It's just like, you know, you hold yourself to a certain tier of, you know, so it's the same thing with art, clothes, fashion, all that. I think this next piece, uh, it's a younger woman, and uh, you could say either her dad or, especially with what's going on with these protests, everybody's like brother and sister, so it really doesn't matter because they're just coming together for a, a cause of protesting. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to put up here yet because I don't want to be just too lazy. I'm pretty lazy when it comes to painting and just put, like, some Black Lives Matter because we know that matters, and I don't know. I got to get my message across a little deeper but yeah I, this is just my style I cut it out you know so you could have a different field in a, a square it almost feel real to me my only advice honestly is to just go if you really feel that that's what you want to do or anything you want to do or even outside of art I would just say just start that's the hardest part people talk about all their plans and it's like you got these big plans, but you still got to knock out all the small plans, which is like before I got here, I was practicing. You know what I mean? I would just paint shit every day. Um, and then just trying new things, being open to learning, you know, do your research, but really just start. I think that's the best advice I can give anybody that's coming into anything. The end goal for me is I honestly want to be in museums worldwide. I want to have, I do want to sell my paintings for millions of dollars and thousands of dollars, you know, I'm not gonna lie. But I want to start a charity. I want to make sure, I just have, I want money so I can be able to do things for other people. You know, and I know it doesn't always take money, but a lot of the things I want to do it, I need money to do it, you know? So the end goal for me is like museums, getting a broader audience, uh, making sure I still have a brand as well as far as like clothing and other items for people to just, you know, they can't afford a painting but still want to be a part of loving yourself. You gotta zoom in on this shit. You can't move. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> but look. <laughs> nah, I ain't want to say nothing. Uh, I ain't want to say nothing, y'all. Y'all in my mom's garage. Y'all y'all are here. Y'all, this is personal as hell. You feel me? This is where I started out. Y'all brought one? I do got one. <laughs> what you need to, you want to know that you're in the South? You want to pull that bitch out? What? <laughs> Here, put this in What's up? <laughs> Pocket. Shit, we could. That shit would be hard. I ain't gonna lie. You know, fit your aesthetic and be like, oh yeah, welcome to the A. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, uh, recording Brandon interview part one. That shit got, that shit do it. Alright, so that's perfect. Also, also last question is going to be no, I'm just <laughs> <laughs>